John Hall again. I want to talk to you about applied forces on a top. So a lot of people, you may not totally understand all of the forces that are going to be applied. So you have a bridge, right? The strings come down. The ball end is going to be pushing up at the bridge. The strings come up through the bridge towards the headstock and they go over the saddle. That string tension coming out of the bridge is going to be trying to go to the headstock. But at the same token, the string tension pushing down on the saddle is going to want to make the bridge do this. So when you're thinking about shaping your braces, this area above has to maintain its structural integrity. Now, to find that balance, it just comes through experience. At the bottom here, we start talking about tensional loads. So, in effect, you have the bridge trying to lift up, which will give you a hump, and it's going to pull on the bridge, or on the top, from the bridge. So the bridge is pulling and rotating and trying to go that way. So it's trying to twist and head towards the headstock. So, what does this mean? Well, when you start putting things under tensional loads, you can much more efficiently carry a load under tension than you can compression. So if you have something under tension, there you go. You put it under rotation, it wants to do this. When it's under compression, it wants to do that. So think about that when you're bracing your top. And all of this is something that you have to figure out to make the guitar sound the way you want it to do. I don't think anybody's built the perfect guitar yet, because if we did, we'd all be trying to copy that. So, from my shop to yours.